Big time tag team match Oops. underway here. talk about great tag teams we can go all the way back to teams like the Tolos brothers Stevens and Patterson Stevens and Bachwinkle the Texas Outlaws the Briscoes the Blackjacks the Andersons and the list goes on and on when you're part of a tag team the two partners have to travel together train together eat together and be completely in sync with one another tag team competition dates back all the way to the Early 1900s. Corey, you mentioned some of the classic duos from sports entertainment's incredible history. In today's WWE, the tag team scene has never been more competitive. I don't know who has the edge when it comes to talent, if it's Raw or SmackDown Live. I think it's too close to call, but all the teams truly think and act as one unit. I agree, Michael. Teams such as the Usos, American Alpha, Anderson and Gallows, The New Day, The Hardy Boys, Cesaro and Sheamus. I could be here all day naming championship caliber teams. And when the tag team scene is that competitive, you don't know which team will be wearing the gold. When the bell rings, the last kicker from Dublin, Ireland, Becky Lynch is going full force at her opponent. For the record, Cole, I don't need to be down with the straight fire to recognize that Becky Lynch is always happy to throw down when a superstar gets in her way. Corey, it's straight fire! Guys, we're talking about Becky Lynch bringing the fight to an adversary. We are talking about the energy, resilience, and the spirit of a woman who will not be denied. That is why Becky is known for bringing that straight fire. Byron, that almost resembled something actually insightful. I'll give Becky Lynch her prop, but she needs to remember, if she's too aggressive, that straight fire can be extinguished. That was, that was okay. Keep working on it. Attacking the back. We have Mandy Rose competing here tonight. Let's talk strategy, Byron. Let me start with... Actually, I'll take this, Cole. There is no strategy when taking on Mandy Rose. She's God's greatest creation. You literally cannot compete with that. Case closed. Question over. Boom! <laughs> Well, we had Corey giving his uh, unbiased strategy discussion concerning Mandy Rose before. Byron, do you have an answer now? Thank you, Michael. Yeah, Mandy can be defeated. And you need to neutralize her absolution ally, Sonya Deville. Together, they can be uh. tough to beat. But if you work on them one at a time, it's possible to earn a win. Going to have a hard time stopping Becky when she's doing this. Oh, what a kick! During the rivalry between the Hardy Boys and Cesaro and Sheamus over the Raw Tag Team Championship, the teams became very familiar with one another. In June of 2017, the teams met in a two out of three falls bout on Monday Night Raw. The most important fall in a two out of three falls contest is the first fall. If a team can win the first fall, that sets the tone for the rest of the match and your opponents are playing catch up. Look at the look in her eyes. She's in the zone now. The two out of three falls match that saw the Hardy Boys go at it with Cesaro and Sheamus was a throwback of sorts. Throughout the 1960s and 70s, championship title defenses and grudge matches were often decided in the two out of three falls format. Cesaro and Sheamus didn't waste any time and scored the decisive first fall after a broke kick rocked Jeff Hardy. Cesaro and Sheamus wanted to continue their domination of Team Extreme. But the Hardys had other ideas as Matt tied things up at one fall apiece after a twist of fate on the Swiss cyborg. After a swanton bomb by Jeff Hardy, the match broke down and the third fall was ruled a double countout. For many years, members of the WWE Universe and the WWE Locker Room have felt that tag team matches should have two referees. One referee is in the ring overseeing the action and the other is located out on the floor making sure teams follow the rules and do not engage in potentially damaging behavior. 
I think it's a good idea, something perhaps Mr. McMahon might want to consider. Byron, earlier you raised a point that people have been talking about for years, and that's a second referee being appointed to tag team matches. I remember WWE Hall of Famer and former WWE President Gorilla Monsoon used to express his strong advocacy for two referees being appointed to tag team matches. Uh, it's something that's been talked about for decades, Michael, and I don't think it's ever going to happen. We've seen it on occasion, but I think it's best to let the superstars be responsible for themselves. And the appointed official for the match needs to do the job they're paid to do. I don't think it's that much to ask. The half-Samoan from New Zealand, Dakota Kai, has a lot to wrestle for tonight. She's a journey woman whose motives have changed with every country she's competed in. When you fight abroad as much as Dakota has, you feel a greater connection with your home, a greater connection with the people you do this for. And for Dakota, that's her family. Is that how you feel about Burke, Virginia, Byron? Oh, man, she's rolling now. We touched on Dakota's extreme. She hits it. Dakota Kai brings everyone to their feet. Is it enough to put Becky away? Does Becky Lynch even know where she is? She's on her last legs. Harsh impact. She goes down hard. She's going to be feeling that one for a while. Boom, right in the button. Oh, man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. Look at her go. Becky Lynch just too fast for her. In order to be a premier tag team, a superstar and their teammate must have that continuity where they're a well-oiled machine inside the ring. I'm talking about classic techniques like cutting the ring in half, isolating your opponent, relegating them to your corner, and making frequent tags so that the fresh man is always in the ring. That's how you keep your opponents off balance. Corey, a few moments ago, you took us through what it takes for a tag team to be successful. The continuity between tag team partners is crucial. When a team is able to keep one opponent in the ring for an extended period of time without making a tag, they're able to focus their attack on one individual and one body part. And that's when things really start to take shape if you're on the tag team that's in control of the match. When you look at the tag teams who have dominated this business, all of them worked well together as a unit and were able to keep an opponent in the ring long enough to make that adversary the focal point of their assault. Byron, I have to believe that Candice's opponent will need to do all she can to keep her tied to the mat, to keep the daredevil in LeRae at bay. Yeah, Michael, it might be best to counter LeRae's high-flying style with mat-based wrestling and submission holds. Mandy Rose, and ooh, nasty impact. She's got it into the quick cover. Digging deep for a kick out. She is ready for a fight tonight. Byron, earlier you used the term high flyer to describe Candice LeRae, but Candice doesn't like that term. She prefers to be called a high-risk wrestler, Corey. Yeah, whatever, but she needs to be smart in order to succeed. Candice needs to know that her opponent's going to do everything in their power to keep LeRae grounded. Outrageous athleticism on the Hurricane Rana. The elbow! Debilitating elbow drop. Andy Rose just too quick. Candice LeRae with an easy kick out. Ring rattling. No, she's too quick for her. Oh, oh, and she gets floored by that one. Yeah, there's no staying on your feet after something like that. How these superstars are even still in this match is beyond me, especially given how intense the match has been. When she gets in attack mode, Look out. Vicious strike. She shows signs of life. She's showing a lot more than that. Oh, man. Dakota Kai just barely got out of the way. Boom, what impact. Ah, kick. Nasty kick. Ooh, what impact. And she goes down hard. That'll leave a mark.
takes her down. Wow, nice move right there. Beautiful technique. She hits it. The Kai brings everyone to their feet. If that that's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. We've seen some great tag team action over the years here in WWE, and I can attest that this is no different. Toss to the outside. Look at this. Looks like she wants to beat her inside the ring. I don't know if their opponent expected that. They got out of the way. Oh, and she gets out of the way. And look, it hung up on the second. This might be it. Oh, my. Keep your eye on this one. She's got that gleam in her eyes. That might just be the final nail in the coffin. Going for the cover. One, two. Where is she finding the strength to continue? Wow, what's it going to take? You gotta believe this one's over. Oh, man. Amazingly, neither side looking to give in here, guys. I don't think we could have asked for a more exciting match. Oh, going to the top, high risk. Whoa! We're looking at complete domination here. I don't think there are two teams I'd rather see square off against each other right now. This is amazing. Ooh. Tag made. I got a feeling there's some bad intentions in mind here. Now kick right in the midsection. This will damage your back. These superstars wearing the wounds right now of what has been an absolutely thrilling matchup. I think she's trying to prove a point here. Here we go. Back inside the ring. Bump handle. Up and she is on fire. Here we go a second. Ooh, nasty impact. Is it enough to put Becky away? Double underhook applied. Oh, move. That should do it. Jeez, I don't like Becky Lynch's chances in this one. She goes for the cover. I wouldn't have been surprised if that was it. Wow. I can't believe she kicked out there. Boom, what impact. Oh, the reversal by Becky Lynch. She's able to get out of the way there. And she turns it around on her. Suplex! Great effort from both these teams, guys. But at this point, both sides look to be struggling here. And she's toying with her now. Look out. She could be done. I don't know how these...
these superstars are doing it right now. Some good technique right there. Look at her go. If this match heads outside, things can go south real quick. Let's hope not. And she's driven down hard. This might just be the end of the road for her. Oh, what impact. What a stomp. Good grief. You gotta believe this one's over. That's it. That's what the man. She knows how to make a comeback. She goes for the cover. Two. What a brutal beating we've seen just out so far here tonight. Oh man, she's rolling now. Oh man, Dakota Kai just barely got out of the way. And that one takes her down. Turn out the lights, Cole. This one's over. What do we got here? Takes her off her feet. That's how you eliminate somebody's vertical game. Harsh impact. Something big is coming. Big move coming. Trust me, if you're a WWE superstar, this is not where you want to be. No way. She is on fire. <laughs> Incredible impact. This might be it. Oh, my. We've got a cover. Becky Lynch going for it. What's Becky Lynch have planned now? And with that, Ooh. we might be looking at a victory for Becky here. Oh no, I don't like Mandy Rose's chances in this one. She's not careful. Things can get out of control in a hurry. Uh, I think they're about to. She dodges that one. She reverses out of it, and not a second too soon. Close call there. Look at her go! Nailed it! Oh, talk about getting flattened. Yeah, she's gonna be feeling that one for a while. Nice exploder suplex! That might have done it, Cole. Look at this! One. And she kicks out with relative ease. She just will not give up, Cole. Uh -oh. The oh, my goodness. Crushing it. Andy Rowe is just too quick. Devastating kick. Andy Rowe is just too quick. Pump handle. Up and you're a nuggy. Wow, she's fought her way all the way. It could be over here! This is it! Two! Oh, how resilient was that? She kicked out there, but I don't know how much more she could take. Uh -oh. oh, my goodness! Crushing it! Taking on any more damage here could very well mean the beginning of the end. Taking off her feet now. And you're not going to win many matches down there. I can tell you that. Lane Lariat! Jumping, leaping attack. You can see the confidence just beaming from her right now. Solid contact from Candice LeRae. Nice. Shut it down. 
Oh, what a cross face. She can pick up the win here, guys. We got a cover. Oh, somehow. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Oh, it's locked in. The cross face. He's back in full control now. She goes for the cover. One. Great effort from both these teams, guys. But at this point, both sides look to be struggling here. What a kick to the knee. Ugh. Takes her down with authority. Man, she went down like a ton of bricks that time. Instinct. That's the only thing keeping these teams standing at this point. And that one does the job. It definitely dropped her, but I'm not so sure it's over yet. Oh, man, Dakota Kai just barely got out of the way. Going to have a hard time stopping Becky when she's doing this. She hits it. Dakota Kai brings everyone to their feet. I bet you feel foolish riding her off now. Eight a pin attempt. Two. She got the shoulder up in time. What a match. What a stop. Good grief. She can't take any more of this. No, there's the reversal. Beautiful technique. Looks like she wants to beat her inside the ring. She's calling her out. She hits here, this match is over. Suplex. A lot of pride on the line here in this tag team encounter, but only two of these competitors will end up getting what they came for, the win. That's all she wrote, fellas. There's a pin now. One, two, three. And we have our winners. Let's take another look at these women in action. Incredible.